All right, we want to show you stock Boyd Gaming right now, trading up. Woo! Look at that, almost 17 percent. Hedge fund Elliott International disclosing a 4.99 percent stake in Boyd Gaming today, and that is sending the shares up higher on the day. Very nice. All right, the bulls are running. The S&P is near its all-time highs, just five years after its bear market lows. But which stocks are at risk for reversing their trends? Here with their predictions, Jason Rotman from Lido Isle Advisors and Mark Tepper with Strategic Wealth Partners. Let's dig right in. Jason, three stocks that have been total winners that you now say are at risk of losing their bounce. The first one is American Axel, Nexstar Broadcasting, also Seagate Technologies. Which of those three do you think is in most danger? Is this still commercial break? Can you not hear me, Jason? All right, let's go to Mark. Mark, which are you watching to fall off their new highs? I see you have Whole Foods, Home Depot, and Lowe's. <clears throat> I'm surprised about that. Which one do you think is going to fall first? Uh, well, Whole Foods has seen huge price appreciation over the course of the last five years, and unfortunately, the the retail food stores are really fighting a uh, an uphill battle right now. You know, what we're seeing right now is that the, the cost of labor inflation is far outpacing the, the diminishing pricing power gains that this industry is seeing. Yeah. And unfortunately, that's going to exert downward pressure on profit margins. And, you know, at the same time, you've got hypermarkets like uh, Walmart trying to compete for this business as well. So, uh, you know, we think, unfortunately, okay. Whole Foods is not going to perform well. And Home Depot and Lowe's, too, you think they're both in jeopardy? I mean, usually people like one or the other. Right, yeah, no, the home improvement retailers in general, we are not huge fans of right now. Unfortunately, the housing market is softening a bit. And one of the things that we've noticed is that they, the performance of the home improvement retailers, so both Home Depot and Lowe's, it's inversely correlated with bond yields. So yeah. as interest rates continue to go up, unfortunately, that's going to hurt these stocks. And they've already got such okay. unbelievable, um, you know, Revenue and, and bottom line growth priced in that it's going to be hard to match. Jason, can you hear us now? You're back with us? Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Uh, so I'm you, here. <laughs> so there are some companies that you think might buck their downward trend. This could be a real opportunity right now, and that's what our viewers are really interested in. Zinga, Me too. Telefonica Brazil, and Anglo Gold Ashanti. What's your number one pick there? I love Telefonica Brazil. I mean, I think the numbers on this company. For a company that has not made like an ounce or an inch of comeback since the blow up to, of, of 2008, I mean, this company's not dead. Conversely, this company is alive and well. Now, Brazil's kind of iffy now, which is why Telefonica is still kind of down in the dumps from a price uh, share perspective. It's got an 8.5% yield. The most recent earnings announcement, it had an upside surprise. It's increasing capital spending next year for, for more fiber optic lines. I think this might be a really uh, phenomenal opportunity to get in at really cheap levels. Mark, you're working for, I mean, you're looking at some stocks with the turnaround to the positive right now. Symantec, Goldman Sachs, and Advanced Micro Devices. What's your number one pick in there? Uh, I would say Goldman Sachs. You know, the capital markets look great right now. Um, we're looking at really improved business confidence, improved investor confidence. So there should be more business loans that are going to have to be financed. Uh, M&A activity is finally beginning to pick up. And one of the good things about Goldman Sachs is you can get good exposure to the financial sector without all of the issues that come along with the potential softening in the housing market that you would get from a lot of the other financials. Jason, you think American Axel is about to go down. Why? American Axel. Okay. Well, the thing is, I mean, talk about a blistering run. I mean, this is not obviously an upstart company with no revenues. I'm not saying that at all. But the thing is averaged, what, 130, 140% annualized over the past five years? Did they do a good business? Absolutely. Are they global? Absolutely. I think if we see one ounce of a slowdown, if interest rates starts to rise, if China falls, falls off okay. uh, a little bit, American Axel will not look good. We'll leave it there, gentlemen. Thanks so much.